What's up guys, it's Liam here. Um, as you can see, I bought a TiVo Tarantula Pro and it's taken apart. Um, the only thing I was able to and it had three felt prints before I actually got this was this roll holder which came with the SD card which they send to you as well. Um, I bought this one off eBay but it's the actual people in Australia that sells 3D printers. Um, Unfortunately, I didn't tell them this. I should have told them this. Um, when I got it, um, the extruder, that's the extruder there, um, didn't want to feed. Um, that's because the hot end, I think, isn't getting hot enough or something. Um, I had a look at it and it looked like that it's not tight at all. So I've tightened it to the best of my ability now uh, but then I ran into another problem which was this little thermistor no it's a thermistor because I do air conditioning I'll work with this stuff um, there's no resistance so with no resistance a thermistor doesn't work a thermistor works by reading resistance by the heat um, and then relays it back to its controller but obviously with this little glass the mister um unfortunately my 3d printer is not going to work um i was going to do a whole video on me building this and then i was like yeah better not um it was very tedious unfortunately i they don't give you instructions you actually have to go look on the internet for instructions i went off a youtube video i can't remember who they are but all you have to do is search up TiVo, uh, TiVo Tarantula Pro um, instruction uh, build instructions and it'll come up they do send you also some nozzle cleaners I've already used one because it seemed blocked it didn't want to feed it just didn't want to um, they give you a spool as well off the place I ordered I'll see if I can get them on the description because they're really nice um uh asked them when it is coming because it was suspected in two weeks only they i found out they only are up the road i could have actually driven up to where they are and go hey guys i ordered this so here's the order number um but yeah um uh, hopefully the next video i post is me changing this and the heat block um unfortunately i got to wait until i think it's next week or the week after for my heat block to come that's that it on the shifter there is um that heat stuff that you put on that heat, heat goop whatever the fuck it's called heat sink goop um because i thought the Struder nozzle wasn't going to work. The nozzle feels like it's not heating up. So I had a look. It looked like it was blocked. And yeah, I heated it up with the blowtorch thing that I have and cleaned it all out and everything. Unfortunately, that didn't work either. So I did take the nozzle out just because I know someone's going to say, Did you take it out and then heat it up? Yes. Um also had a look at the heating element I think that's gone so I've ordered one where it comes with a whole package except the um, cooling fan which for some reason I still see there's no point if you can control it by that why are you doing a fan if you can control it by the heating element um, that's the way aircon works you heat up the heating element when you need it it'll turn off when it doesn't need it so I hit turn on turn off turn on turn off turn on turn off Believe it or not, that's actually cheaper. You using a fan uses a bit more energy. But the tiny extruder on this, don't like one. Yes, you got a single gear and a roller bearing, or I call it a roller. I don't like that design at all. So I've ordered another version of an extruder that comes off, um, I think, a Creality CR10. Um, when it comes here, I'll be trying that out, but you can always put that back on anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, they're all the same size because the motors are generally the same size. 
Um, that's only PLA as well. So I've only used this to do one print at, and it was about a three hour print. And if I go to my little junk bit, uh, that was my fourth one. This was my first print. The first time I used the printer. And yeah, it didn't, didn't, it started skipping a whole two rows. Or not even that, a whole bunch of rows. And basically it was, it's brittle, it's brittle as hell. Just because not only done the supports, like you can see the supports, you can see what's inside that bit over there. Um, but yeah, you can squeeze it, you can do whatever. But then I did it a second time and then I started again. Um, that just tells me that TiVo didn't really think their extrusion very well. Like, I was thought that they would have done like a direct feeding one. So that means the extruder, so the feeding bit or the extruding bit actually feeds straight into the nozzle, not going over here, threading through a PTF tube, with which I've ordered a blue one because these ones are shit. Um, these aren't nylon, they are actually fucking something else. I don't like them. Where the ones I've bought are nylon, they're a better fit, they're a bit more flexible and they're a bit more easier. Um, all of these I've bought in Australia except the nozzle, the spare part nozzle, it's got to come from Hong Kong, Hong Kong, not Hong Kong. Where the fuck is Hong Kong? And then my girlfriend's playing a game over there. Oi! Stop playing your game. Um, but the first thing I'm probably going to print is Groot touching the button, which I've downloaded off one of the guys from, uh, what is that fucking... I can't remember the website. It's a site where you can get models anyway. Um, then my friend also has told me that you can use another site. Um, which you can download stuff for free. So I might try that as well. Um, I'm not going to clean this up. There's no point. It's holding the roller. If I need to print another one, it's still on the SD card anyway. I've got the Groot already on there. I've also got a new Coca-Cola bottle on there. Um, the new Coca-Cola bottle... I will be printing, I will be cleaning it out, I'll be sanding it, I'll be doing everything because I actually do want to use it as a bottle. I have um, actual bottle plastic, I can't remember what type of plastic it was, but it basically it's the same as a milk bottle, I'm going to use that plastic to print it out and use that as it. Um, but yeah, I've got a few spare parts on order. These nozzles are actually going all the way up to about here on the actual hot block. So that's your heating block there. So the nozzle goes from the other way. The nozzle goes from here all the way to there. I don't know if you can see it. But it's an inner threaded big fucking it's called a volcano eruption nozzle i don't like it that much but i'm gonna use it um this is size 0 0.3 it's a 0 0.3 nozzle um if i can get it it's pretty dirty as well um that's because i've tried to clean it um it came dirty um that's not poor quality from the actual people selling it to me. It's just me not paying attention and cleaning it when it was possible. Um, I tried to clean it uh, after when I heated it up with my little torch thing. That's for a uh, gas soldering iron and that. Um, also, I was going to print out parts for my little gel ball. Okay. Um... This is the AK-47M, I think it was. Um, that's from Alpha King. Uh, the only problem is with these, they don't have a feeding and all that. So I'm going to 
they also don't have a, like any rail mounts or anything which was I was upset with um, but I'll be printing very soon hopefully alright guys have you guys have yourself a good day stay cool and keep jawballing